Stop recording the selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Good morning, guys. Double tap. One face near right edge. Near left edge. Okay. Centered. Speech off. Uh, it's VI Life with Kelly. Thank you for coming back and spending this time with me. Um, this is another chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, morning routine. I just literally um co-wash my hair so i'm getting ready to style it a little bit before i start working out um i got a new product i got a new product uh yesterday from shea moisture um it's a deep a deep conditioner but it's a leave-in product i'm gonna show it to you guys here in a minute and let you guys know what i've been up to it is September 13th, 2021. So literally we got nine days until the first day of fall, you guys. So this is literally winding down to the last few days of summer. I hope you guys have been having an amazing September. It's Virgo season. Um, if you haven't or if you didn't know, please follow me on Instagram. I posted a lot of pictures and videos of me celebrating um i had a wonderful time with the women's retreat at my church we went to st petersburg florida i laid out on the beach i had a ball praise god for that um so yeah guys good morning good morning it's like a little after 5 a.m on the east coast so it's officially monday in hawaii <laughs> um so yeah guys let me catch you guys up on what i've been doing and um let's just go from here the first thing that i want to do i've been trying to upload this other video let me see something speech on stop recording face centered speech off i've been trying to upload this other video for like a whole week i try to make sure a week doesn't go by that i didn't upload at least a video or two and for whatever reason all last week when i was trying to upload my video was just constantly getting stuck um, I left it up for like a whole day. It never would let me get out of it. I would have to power off my whole um, camera and then power it back on and then start all over. I literally went through the process of uploading this same video, which the video, mind you, is only like 29 minutes. I don't know why. I don't know why when I'm listening to these videos in the background, they get super loud out the clear blue sky, but the volume is not that loud. Anyway, so I kept trying to upload this video, upload this video. So all I can think is that it must have been so much traffic because of Labor Day and everything. Everyone like vlogging that um, it was just like cut kicking people out or just um, glitching. Um, but comment down below if you have a YouTube channel and you were experiencing the same type of problem. Even some of my posts on Instagram, I was having that issue too, where it was just stuck. It never uploaded. Um, and it took forever. And um, finally, I had to like repost something, start from scratch. I literally had a post uploading on Instagram for like four days it just kept saying upload retry upload error and then it said it will upload when there's a better connection so i just feel like for the holiday people were just posting and the networks just weren't able to keep up i don't know but that's why we didn't have a video for last week um but i'm going to try to re-upload that video again today and then um upload the next video which would be this one and just go from there um i found a way to be able to tie my towel around my head without having to hold it and this is a hand towel so i'm really excited i figured that out because i put a bunch of olive oil in my hair as soon as i get out the tub and um it just seems to like want to drip everywhere so i just you know I um I put the towel on so it could stay off my face and then you know maybe go on and absorb or whatever. But yeah guys, that's what's been going on. Um 
what else happened today i'm going to go i have like a couple appointments i'm taking my dogs to get groomed we're trying a new place so keep our fingers and toes crossed that this is an amazing experience i normally take them to petco petco has been beyond booked um it takes like two weeks sometimes three weeks to get an appointment and literally charles birthday was august 7th and um i had called trying to get him an appointment i got an appointment for august 9th and you guys we overslept for the appointment missed it and now here we are all the way in september um, um, it's not right and i'll try to do like a makeshift haircut thing going on over here that i have no business even trying to do but anyway guys he's going today um and that's cool and then i want to definitely go get fall decorations you guys i've been trying to get this fall popping off over here before last week before labor day i wanted everything transition to fall um but didn't it didn't happen so today is the day i'm gonna go to cole's department store um because one of my errands is like out in the woodstock area so there's a cole's right next door um, and so I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna see what they have. I'm thinking that my fall look is gonna be like this really pretty coppery orange and gold and um, like kind of like a crystally silver look. You know, I think that's how it's going to be. I want to see if they have any pumpkins, like crystal pumpkins or really pretty painted orange pumpkins and like they can you can take the lid off and put candies in them or you could put cookies in them stuff like that so i'm looking forward to seeing what they have i want to get um napkins and napkin holders for my table and i i really feel like um i really think i want to get like a chocolate china set for the table instead of having like white porcelain look i think i want a clear um uh, what you call it dinnerware i think i want a clear but a chocolate brown or like topaz or quartz look for the place settings around the table so then you'll have like your plate your you'll have your dinner plate your salad plate your your bowl your soup bowl and then you'll have your um your glass i think i want to put some wine glasses around the table as well as um coffee mug or cocoa mugs i think i want one of each and then um i want to put the cloth napkins i'm thinking that i want the cloth napkins to be maybe the same color as the dinnerware and then the napkin holder maybe that's what will be like gold or something to bring it like pop it make it all together but then the centerpiece the centerpiece i want it to be like some type of i don't know yet like maybe you know of course i could go with like a floral arrangement which would be really pretty like a really pretty bronzy um basket like a bronze basket or vase and then you just have like your sticks like your bamboo sticks and things like that coming out um you know that'd be pretty so if i find something that's kind of like you know bronzy vase or basket and then it has like your you know orange and purple and you know just a few pretty bright but not too bright colors that sit on the, in the middle there i will love that um with like some little bitty signs that say welcome fall or you know welcome home or fall harvest blessings things like that that's what i want on my table that's how i see my table and then i want to get um some throw pillows i want pillows in my bar stools i want um pillows in my chair and in my couch because i have the black leather couch and everything like that so i want to get the orange bronzy colors 
um, throw pillows that say stuff like blessed or blessings or, you know, the same kind of thing. Welcome fall, welcome love, welcome, you know, seasons of blessings, something faith, you know, all those types of wonderful things. So I want that on the couch and in my um, office chair because that's black leather and that sits right there. So all the chairs in my living and dining area and kitchen area are all black leather. So I just take the pillows off and just accent them with new pillows for the new season. So yeah, I'm also going to look for my fall set for my bedroom. So definitely look out for a haul video. Um, that'll be coming out this week too to see what I got, what I found, and then after we'll do a decorate with me video so you guys can see how I put together the dining area, the living area, and the bar area, and then um, you know another home video where you see what I got for my bedroom and how I decorate um, my bed and the new fall look um, because fall is next week, guys. Today's the 13th and fall is next Wednesday, literally. September 22nd is next Wednesday, first day of fall, okay? So that's the things that I got going on. Also, you guys, um, I got a ton of birthday rewards and this was my first year actually like keeping up with my Starbucks. Um, which I feel like crap about because I've spent so much money at Starbucks. One reason because I used to work in the mall at Lenox. And um, our Macy's has a Starbucks in there as well as there's one right outside of the Macy's in the middle of the mall. And I literally would be at that Starbucks so much and I would never scan my receipts. I would never like they have all kind of offers if you purchase this you get extra this many points that many points you guys and i would say all the time oh i need my daughter to download this for me so i can do it so i threw lots and lots of money down the drain by not doing that but anyway i finally got into it um i think in june i finally downloaded the app and did everything i needed to do so when i go to starbucks now I get my points and everything like that so literally they sent me a birthday reward and I was like oh yeah cool so when I went on the trip with my church um, there was a Starbucks in the um, airport you guys I kid you not so I went to use my Starbucks reward and they told me that it didn't work so I was like wow why so it literally said on there that it was expired I'm like how is it expired so I called on the phone. They told me that your birthday reward is only good for 24 hours. So after you get it, it expires. So you have the full day to use it and then you're done. But they could, they went on and added it back for me and gave me um, three days to use it, which I thought was super, super sweet. So if you don't know what the birthday reward is, it's any beverage or menu item of your choice. It doesn't matter what the price is, if you can pick whatever you want. So you could get the venti, blah, 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 all the bells and whistles, whatever you want. Add this, sub, uh, that, a little bit of this, blah, blah, blah. You could get that, or you could get whatever food item, anything you want. Now, it's, I am going to ask them, does that apply to merchandise as well? Like, could you get a bag of coffee beans or could you get like a mug or is it exclusive to just food and beverage? I don't know because it says on the reward a menu item. And so, I mean, merchandise is on the menu, guys. So, who knows? I'll let you guys know, though, to be continued on what happened with my birthday blessings. I am in the Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Club. I did get an ice cream cake. They give you like $3 coupon off their ice cream cake. And then they give you a free ice cream cone on your birthday. So they end up sending me two. I did get one. So I'm going to go get the other one probably today. Um, I mean, I got tons of them, y'all. There were so many different birthday rewards. I got a Kohl's birthday reward. It's $10. I'm going to use that today. Um, I got... Uh, Macy's rewards 
I got, um, I don't know, I'm, I probably should do a video with you guys and just scroll through my email and tell you I got a Victoria's Secret um, $10 off reward and I got a pink reward, um, $10 gift card. Um, um, what else? So I should probably, what I'll probably do with y'all is literally go in my email. I'll do a video on this. It'll be birthday rewards because you should sign up for this because it's, it's free money, you guys. You're spending at these places, you know, get your birthday reward. But I'll do a video with y'all. Comment down below if you want to see it. Where I go through my email and I literally tell you guys all the rewards I got, how much they are. And they're very simple. Pretty much everybody has a birthday rewards program. When you sign up on their apps and they ask you your birthday, really put the right birthday. Um, a lot of these restaurants have them, like the Landry's restaurants. Um, that would be like salt grass, long corn. They have a bomb rewards program and birthday program. Their rewards program gives you like $25 rewards at a time when you get spend so much. It takes like two, two outings, two dinners to get your $25 reward. But for your birthday, you get another $25 reward, guys. It's super good. Why do I have a... I have an alley on my back, you guys. Why well, I didn't even know. I'm going to have to find out why do I have an alley on my back. I'm going to look at that later. Anyway, guys. So, um, so, yeah. You really put your right birthday on there. And then they email you and they text you when you have um, birthday rewards. And so the a lot of restaurants offer you birthday rewards. Um, what's this one? Corner Bakery, um, Panera Bread. Um, like I was telling you guys, the Saltgrass, the Landry's, um, Maggiano's. They sent me a birthday reward. It's ten dollars. I'm gonna use that one too. Um, I think Sally sent me a birthday reward. Like. Anyway, like I said, I'll go through my email. I'll do a video for that. And I'll just tell you guys all the birthday rewards that I had available to me. And all the, you know, ways to get it done. Um, it, which is super simple. Okay, cool. So, back to what I was telling you all about as far as my hair. So, I have been doing the curly thing um, for what... I think definitely two months now definitely two months um it's really hard for me it's very time consuming and um that's the biggest turn off for me is how much time it ends up taking me that I don't like um but you know there's definitely lots of benefit to it because I get tons of growth um tons of growth right now I have about six inches of new growth six inches at least um and so because i just leave my hair in these loose ponytails if you look on my instagram you'll see in my videos from the week and everything i have this like ponytail that's at the top of my head and it's very a very loose poof ponytail it kind of gives me like the 50s 60s vibes when the women used to wear their hair kind of puffed but I do that because it's no stress on my edges. There's no stress. It allows my scalp to relax and just grow, absorb the oils and the products that I'm using. Um, it also gives like re um, relief to the middle of your hair because whether you realize it or not, there's a lot of stress and tension that's put on the middle of your hair all the time. And that's sometimes why you'll have thinning in the middle of your hair. Um, or you may even have some balding in the middle of your hair and it's like people like to cover it up or you'll think it's because you're using, um, you know, extensions, weave glues, things like that and it's pulling the hair out. But it's also because of how much stress when styling because people, you know, you're constantly parting your hair on the left or the right or the middle and your hair is hanging down. You're constantly combing down, combing down, combing down, combing down, combing, brushing down, brushing down, brushing down, slicking down, slicking down pulling it to the back pulling it you know to the back middle it's always distress in the middle of your hair so if you're bold and unapologetic like myself and don't mind to walk around with that loose puff ponytail at the top of your head then i say do it 
um, if you don't want to do it publicly, you can always, when you get home, just go on and swoop it up there and wear it like that and put a bonnet on and just wear it like that for the rest of the day at home. Like that's an excellent habit and tip um, and to de-stress and keep that hair thick and full in the center. I like to put castor oil, black seed oil, and olive oil in the middle of my head all the time. I do use those main choice um, growth oil and the as I am tea tree oil that's specific for scalp um, and I'll just shoot that in there and kind of massage in my scalp but anyway those are some tips that I have um, I'm gonna watch the weather that's really gonna be what indicates to me how much longer I'm going to stay curly if the if the weather if there's a sharp decline in the weather like already we've been getting 60s and 70s i think in the mornings it's been pretty much starting at 63 degrees so if it dips beyond that like 50s into the 50s by um the end of this month or the beginning of next month i'm going to go straight let me see let's see what the weather is wearing What is the weather? It's currently clear and 64 degrees. Expect cloudy skies starting in the afternoon, then partly cloudy skies starting early evening. Today's high will be 88 degrees and the low will be 64 degrees. Okay, so right now it's 64 degrees. They said the high is going to be 88. You you guys heard what um, Siri said. So it's been consistently in the 60s every single day since september has started um so yeah definitely in today's what the 13th so by the end of this month if it's still doing like 60s but high of 88 stuff like that if it's still going from 60 to 80 i'll stay curly but as soon as it starts dipping into the 50s and the high starts being like 60s then i'm probably gonna go back to straight hair um typically when it's cold um i stick with straight hair so um but probably what i will do though um because i'm just in the mood for this i'm probably going to go straight and then keep my hair in cornrows so it'll be like it'll be straight and then I'll do a middle part and have the cornrows on both sides. And that'll be my look all the way till Christmas. And then I'll do Christmas pictures, which will be fun. And then I'll do um, New Year's. And so, and then, you know, get ready for Valentine's, right? So we'll see what happens, guys. Um, that's where I'm at. So let's go ahead on and get into um, the first topic that I have and my hair products. Let me see because I need to get this done and I'm trying my best not to be dragging it along. Guys, I still have nowhere near finished unpacking my bags. That's the part that I hate the most when I go out of town is unpacking. Especially on. when I know pretty much I'm probably going to go back out of town. Stop record. Face. One face centered. Okay, let me see. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Face centered. Speech off. But I absolutely do need to... Let's see what time it is. I do Speech need off. to unpack. 5.33 a.m. Okay. Off. It's only 5.33 in the morning, which is great. Um, but I have stuff, guys. Let me see. Yeah, I have stuff I need to do. Let's find out what this product is called so I can tell y'all real quick. Um, let's find out which one of these products is it. I'm pretty sure. I had purchased that Care Care. I told you guys about it. The Care Care. It's that castor oil, black seed oil mix product. Um, I'm not impressed with it. But I appreciate it when I need to wet, you know, hydrate the hair without soaking it. Okay, so 
I think this is the Shea Moisture product. I'm pretty sure this is it because it doesn't smell like the As I Am or Aunt Jackie's products I've been using or the Elastic QP. So it's called some type of deep conditioning leave-in. It's by Shea Moisture. They had it at my Kroger for $10.69. Open be my eyes. So I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Okay. okay, guys, so I'm so hungry, guys. I'm already ready to have breakfast, um, which I'm probably gonna go in and make me some, um, I'm gonna go in and make me some oatmeal. Let me see. I have these blackberries. I ate a bunch of blueberries. Y'all, they had the large blueberries at Target. You might want to check out your um, Target closest to you. They have... Hi, good morning. Hello. Um, can you tell me what's the name of this? Okay. Uh, it's Trangson and Wrist... Restore. Mm -hmm. And maybe. Let me see. Uh, can you. Not to move it? Okay. A, a little bit to the right. To the left. I'm sorry. To the left. And. Uh, up. Okay, okay. Uh, she. Uh, she. She knows too. Uh, I, I don't know the name. It is. Okay. okay. S H E A. Mm -hmm. uh, Moisture. Sorry, you moved, you moved it uh, a little bit to the left. Okay. S H E A N O I. S-T-U-N-E. Uh, okay. Does it tell you what it is, though? <laughs> I don't know. It is a... Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Have a great day. Are you sure? No. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Thanks for your call. Please let us know if you've experienced a good call. Okay, guys, let's move on. Call volunteer. Sometimes you just pick up people in different countries because it's, it is after 5 a.m. here. So this person is probably across overseas because it's daytime there. So they're probably expecting to pick up somebody in their culture, you know. Ooh, my leg hurts, guys. I don't know what the heck. I don't know if I got, I don't know if I got sunburned or if I got bit by something but it's making my leg hurt so I'm gonna have to see stuff that happens when you go to the beach you have so much fun the water in St. Pete Beach is so salty guys unbelievable it was it feels amazing the water is wonderful it's not cold it's right there on the Gulf Coast um and so it feels so yum Hold on, guys. Hi, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hi, my name. Can you tell me what the name of this is? It's Shea Moisture. Okay, and what kind of product is it? It's uh, the black castor oil um, conditioner with apple cider vinegar. With apple cider vinegar? Yeah. Did they say it's a leave-in conditioner? Um, can you push it backwards a bit? No, wait. Uh, can you take it to your right? No, left. Uh, yes, it's a leave in condition. Okay, so is this like deep conditioning or something? No, no, no. It just says strengthen and restore leave in condition. Oh, thank you. And call. Button. Have a wonderful day. Alert. Are you sure you want to disconnect? No. Bye. Button. Yes. Button. Your experience. Thanks for your, please let us, my experience problems. I had a good call. Okay, guys. So, like open YouTube.
Okay, guys, so. So I've gotten the leave-in conditioner. I didn't even know they had one with apple cider vinegar. So I have the Jamaican black castor oil with apple cider vinegar, leave-in conditioner, strengthening and restore product. So we're gonna put that in my hair. Um, and we're gonna use the same products we've been using, the As I Am Double Butter Cream, the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Smoothie, and the Aunt Jackie's Curling Custard. We're gonna use those today. So we're using a total of five products. I already put olive oil in my hair, and I got the olive oil from Kroger, no, I think Target. So, I started this whole thing. Let me finish these black layers real quick. I started this whole thing where I'm working out on live. So, definitely check me out, guys. Guys. If you're on tagged, definitely check me out. I'm working out on there. Okay, so now I'm about to take my hair down. Okay. It's pretty soft right now. Whenever I'm like washing my hair, I f it feels dry to me because the water is so hard here in um, Atlanta. Let me get one more towel because I'm going to go on. Uh, I'm almost tempted not even to comb my hair because it's so nice and neat right now. <laughs> it's so nice and neat. Like, it's so nice and Yeah, I'm really tempted to just leave it like this. If you're wondering what kind of sunglasses I have on, these are the um, Ferragamos. Yeah, I need some fall shades. I need some fall shades. Are these my fall shades, y'all? Because I really didn't wear these this summer. I didn't give them justice. I got these in the spring. And I really didn't wear them. Should these be my fall shades? What do y'all think? So, anyway, I hope y'all made the Nordstrom rack sale. They had a big Labor Day clear the rack sale. And then um, Saks had a huge sale. Saks Offit, the clearance store. They had a big sale yesterday. They were doing 70% um, off jewelry, fine jewelry with an extra 10%. That is a great sale that is a great 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 sale i don't know but anyway guys so megan the stallion got married guys that's what is going on out here she's gotten married i like it i like it she finished school like she said she wanted to she got her degree you know, she's making money, and now she's the wife. I feel like that's the move right there. Great. I was surprised. That popped up on my um, suggested videos to watch. I was like, what? So, it says she had a small private ceremony last week, and it's official. So congratulations, kudos to her. Love, love, love. Um, let me see. I guess I'm gonna put this product in my hair first. The um, Shea Moisture, just to see what it's like. Because if I put other stuff in there, I won't really know what it's like. So, 
I'm so happy for my dog to get groomed today. Y'all don't understand. It has been torture. Trying to figure out why is this baby glass not groomed. And then they'll say you can book online and you can't. And then you have to keep calling. So you literally have to like go up there to see, you know, like, okay, let's get on the schedule because we don't have anything, you know. But anyway, um, because nobody's answering the phone. I'm like, wow, y'all must be really short staffed. I was looking for travel room or somebody that would come to the house and do it. I was like, I'm, I was like, maybe I'm making this up. There might not be a such thing with everything going on. People are probably leery about coming into people's homes, you know. But I need it. I'm like, I need some help with my doggies. They need to be cleansed and haircut, nail trim, like everything full shebang. How many of you guys are watching Power? Are you guys keeping up with Power Book? I keep getting behind. Like I literally caught up and then I missed yesterday. It's very, it's highly probable I won't be watching it until this Sunday coming up. So then I'll be watching two episodes at a time. I hope I don't get to three weeks again, but I've been kind of enjoying when I don't watch it. It seems like when you just watch one episode, it's not enough. But then when you watch multiple, you kind of walk away satisfied like, okay. I don't know. I'm kind of at the point where I wish they would just give us the whole season at a time. I, I'm almost like right there. Now, somebody else just mentioned to me that I need to check out Guardian... Is it Guardian Angel? I think they said Guardian Angel. It's like, it has two seasons and they said I need to watch it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying the right thing y'all at all. But I think it's called Guardian Angel. Okay guys, so... Okay, let's see. I don't. I might have took too long taking my hair out the um. I might have took too long, but I don't know. It seems like it's kind of giving me what I need. I remember when before Shea Moisture was a like a household name. I had gone to Miami and like 11 years ago on a girl's trip and I was wearing my hair curly then because it was no point if I'm going to be getting in the water. Um, and so I went in there and bought up a bunch of this product. I didn't even pay attention and I was just hydrating my hair with it and it was cute. I was doing a braid and go. Like you corn roll it at night, saturate your hair with the product, corn roll it at night, and then take the braids down in the day and then just let it go. You know, it was just pretty. And um, never even, then I bought a whole bunch of it to bring back home and they made me throw all of it away because I didn't put it in the check bag. I was so mad, y'all. I was like, and then I didn't know what it was called. Isn't that crazy? You buy a bunch of stuff, don't even know what it's called, and then I was just like looking randomly. I don't know where like the original, whoever developed Shea Moisture, I don't know if they're here on the East Coast or they just decided to market it on the East Coast first, but at the time I was in Texas, so. I'm just like looking for it and 
sure enough, it ends up being on the, I was like, oh, what's this? I will say the packaging was different when it first came out, and I feel like the ingredients were different, honestly. Okay, so I just put a lot in here. Once again, I do feel like I wouldn't have as much shedding if I was more faithful about keeping my hair hydrated, if I would consistently be um, if I would consistently be detangling and hydrating and conditioning I feel like I definitely wouldn't have as much of this shedding that I do but I literally don't like the whole time I was in St. Pete I was just literally hydrating and go wash it wasn't even it was like a wash and go but not even doing the stuff the steps to the wash and go just putting product in and running out the door so okay let me see guys so it's pretty much coming out really good surprisingly it's coming out really really well which i'm happy about um i'm gonna go in and get this comb in a second this large wide tooth comb and see where we go from here i will tell you guys this water is really hard so it doesn't make my hair feel as soft at all it doesn't it doesn't do it for me So I have my wide tooth comb and I am combing through. I always start at the bottom and work my way up because it helps detangle the roots when you do that. I don't like to, okay for some reason my outfit got stuck in my comb. But yeah, this is what I like to do. I like to detangle from the bottom up. And then the closer that I get to the roots, the more detangled it is. So, um, what else has been going on? So, I stayed at the Trade Winds Resort on St. Pete Beach um they have like i think it's a 20 acre property they have everything they have cabanas they have um all the vendors jet skiing parasailing um uh, paddle boating kayaking when i tell y'all they have everything that you can want you don't have to go anywhere there's tons of restaurants everywhere from delis to I mean seafood restaurants they have the rum fish seafood restaurant they have tons of shopping um they have a spa you can get massage and facials and um I mean guys on top of that everything is to the left or to the right of the hotel so you can go, there's Walgreens, there's Kroger, there's other restaurants like walking all over the place. You can just walk across the street. There's the 7-Eleven was right across the street, this, like right across the street. Um, The rooms are really nice, you guys, as far as 
not glam don't get don't don't think i mean the rooms are nice as far as they have a living room a dining area which is the same area and a kitchen which is the same area the kitchen literally has a refrigerator it has a microwave it has a sink it has a stove top you all with two eyes so if you wanted to cook on the stove top you could um that's your kitchen dining area living room combination there's an actual full couch there um an end table with a phone for you to call they have room service um they have where they can pick you up and take you you know in a golf cart at any given time they have tons of pools the beach is like steps away from your door it really doesn't matter what side of the property you're on you're always a short walk to the beach um your bedroom you have two queen beds the beds are high up they're not low to the ground they're high up and they're very plush they have very nice um bedding um you have the slide door closet with the mirror doors full length mirror doors really nice you have a full dresser you have um you do have like your television i should have did a little video of it so i can tour the room for y'all um but when i go back i'll do it then um but yeah they have the bathroom is to the point so you have the sink in the hallway so when you leave your living area and you walk down to the bedroom the sink is there in the middle hallway um and then you have as soon as you pass the sink area then you make a left and that's where your you know commode and shower is um and then if you wanted to pass that section then that's when you go into the bedroom area um and it's very spacious very comfortable if i had to guess how many square feet this room was it probably was like 350 square feet something like that 400 square feet um because it definitely had everything was separate the living area so you could actually have people come over and not be in your bedroom at all nowhere near your bedroom um the table they had three chairs no it was actually four chairs so you could have four people sit at the table if you wanted to um just very comfortable they did not have carpeted flooring so it was tile and you know that's that you know um it's definitely not a view like if you feel like you're going to be overlooking something I'm sure you could get a beachfront property um, for, you know, paying a little bit more. I don't know. But they do design the rooms where you don't get comfortable being in the rooms, but you actually want to get out. So I think that's why they're real particular about the view they give you. Because they want you to get out and about. Um, and enjoy. So... They had a lot of restaurants, but you know, right at the pools and um, like I said, the beach was so good. The cabana is so, so good. And because I went with a group, the price was like unbelievable for three nights and four days because I went with the women's retreat. The, just put it like this, the price was the price of one night there so we got to stay for four days for the price of one night because it was a group of 200 of us let me add that it was 200 women and we got a phenomenal deal um now i've heard great things there's another resort across the way like across the bridge from trade winds island resort um called the dom it's a pink they have a huge large pink building you see when you're crossing the bridges and i hear that's the creme de la creme so 
I don't know. I have to look them up online. I don't even know, guys. But coming my hair out right now was not that bad. I'm really happy about that. Dang, I just broke a strand of hair, guys. Did y'all hear that pop? That was a good strand, too. Okay. So, I'm about to hurry up because I'm really hungry. What are we having for breakfast, guys? What are we having for breakfast? I've been eating tacos the last couple of days. It was real, real good, mind you. From Chipotle with the black beans and rice and pico and guacamole. Y'all so freaking good. I was like, wow. Because I typically don't like beans and rice on my tacos. But it was like on point. So good. So. Okay, let's see. All I'm trying to do now is just. Let me see. So, guys, let's talk about what else happened. So, I met this guy. <laughs> but when DMVI I like with Kelly video, if I don't tell y'all about a date, right? Um, so I met this guy, and we're gonna call him Bob. And um, Bob has no children, never been married. Um, and he's a native Floridian from Tampa and he basically was going off about he wants to be married and um, you know that's what his goal is that's what his purpose is um, he wants a God fearing woman he you know, found it very attractive that I was on a women's retreat with my church and blah 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 blah, blah. so the day that we went out he was going to the Tampa game so it was like Tampa versus um the Cowboys so it was the first game of the season and it was Tampa versus the Cowboys and so um on top of that he is a part of some type of cigar lounge so he was going to some type of cigar event um so i had told him like well you know what go on and enjoy yourself because i have an event you know at 6 30 and you know i don't want to be rushed and stressed you know what i mean like we can just meet tomorrow or something in the day so he's like no 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 you know I'm going to come down there and we're going to go um, eat at one of my favorite places and I'm um, going to take you to the mall and whatever. So for you all that's not familiar, Tampa, St. Petersburg and Clearwater, they're all like, you know, right there. Sarasota, all of it's 30, 45 minutes apart, whatever, 25. So Tampa International Mall is right next door to the airport. And that's where you find like Nordstrom, Neiman's, you know, whatever. So we went to the mall first because I had a large breakfast and I wasn't hungry about like 11, 30, 12 when we met up. Um, I wasn't hungry. So he takes me in Neiman's. Mind you, um, I didn't ask you know like oh I want to go this store or I need to do this or that so he takes me in Neiman's and I was telling him how I needed some shoes for my dress because we were having a masquerade ball that evening and the shoes I thought I brought I didn't bring and he had been looking at my Instagram and he was like I really love a woman in heels and I love these particular color shoes you have on in this picture and blah 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 I was like oh, okay well while we're in here, why don't you pick out some stuff you think will look good on me, whatever. Y'all, so we go in there and there's a perfume counter. There's some fragrances that different YouTubers have been swearing smell amazing. I wanted to try, so I wanted to smell Bond number 9, 
Bakura, um, Tom Ford, just some different stuff. So we go in there, I get some of those fragrances sprayed on me. None of it was my favorite. Um, and we're walking around. So then I wanted to see if they had these particular earrings that I wanted for my birthday. Um, and they didn't have them in stock because they sell out really fast. And then um, we go look at the shoes. So he hands me these pair of shoes. They're like a nude brown. And I asked him, I said, okay. So I asked him what was the size. So he said it said 40. I was like, really? The shoe looks so small, you guys, which was lovely, right? A woman loves to look dainty and her foot to look small. So I was like, let me just try this on. And I'm um, asking him, like, what's the name of it? It was really comfortable. It was only like a 70 millimeter heel, which is about two and a half inches, okay? So he tells me, like, Manolo Blahnik. Like, he's, he's trying to get the words together, but basically I'm like, oh, that's a Manolo Blahnik. Okay, cool. So, then he hands me another shoe, which is a, a Christian Louboutin, a Christian Louboutin. So, the red bottom, right? It's a black heel. Um, he asked the lady if they had it in the nude color. And um, I tried it on. Very comfortable. So, I asked her what style is this shoe like is there a style name because everyone i know complains about how painful these shoes are and this one is really comfortable so it was um the style was apostrophe if you guys want to know um a red bottom you could get a pump the closed toe classic pump that's very comfortable it's called apostrophe that's the style apostrophe so anyway guys so I'm trying them on and he's like, he loves them. And he's, you know, saying all this stuff. Like, if you keep those black ones on too much longer, I'm not going to go to this game. I'm going to be with you, right? So I'm like, hmm, okay. You know, giggle, giggle, you know? So anyway, we're sitting there. We're waiting for the lady to come back because she's like helping me and she's helping a couple other people. And on top of that, she's um, looking up stuff to see what's available, what's not. So then he tells me the price of the Manolo Blahnik was $665. And the Christian Louboutin was $745. So I was surprised. I thought all the red bottoms were pretty much $1,000, 1100 and up. Um, I didn't know they had a $745 price, range, price point. So I was like, oh, is that good? That's good, huh? So anyway, he's like, well, I don't know. You know, I've never, you know, spent that kind of money. For, or I've never bought, you know, these shoes before for women. I don't, you know. So I asked him, well, how much do you, do you think that's too much? Could you ever see yourself, you know, uh, spending that kind of money on, you know, a woman? Like, is, it, is that something that's like a turn off for you? Like, you don't want to spend that much money? So he goes on to tell me like, you know, there's levels to this and basically that, you know, that's a purchase for his wife. That's a purchase he would make for his wife and he's still circling the block like, I don't know. Instead of just saying, heck no, I don't want to pay that much for nobody's shoes. I don't pay that much for myself, which he ended up alluding to that because I asked him, I said, now what kind of shoes do you have on right now? So he said, Nikes. I said, okay, so you have on J's, you have on some Jordans. He was like, well, no, I have on LeBron's. I said, okay, so how much were the LeBron's? So I said, what are we talking about? 250, 350, 400? Do you have Yeezys or what? So he's like, well, no. I don't know 150 I'm not sure I don't I don't buy my shoes my sister works for Nike's corporate office so she gets me all my shoes so I was like oh okay I was like so pretty much you you have hookups whatever it is that you wear or, or have pretty much you have hookups on it so you're just not accustomed to paying for things you know and then certain things you just not interested in 
I'm like, could you just tell me you never have purchased a woman's shoes before, right? Y'all. So, why did this man end up telling me this conversation was making his stomach cramp? <laughs> he started giving me this long speech about how women in the past, he's gone on dates with them. Um, they go to the mall and they start asking him to buy them stuff. And when he tells them no, they give him an ultimatum and they say, like, if you can't afford to buy me this or if you don't buy me this, then we don't need to go no further. You know, thank you, but no thank you. And he said he even went further to tell me a story about this one girl. I asked him to buy her some shoes that cost $1,300. He had told her no, he don't spend his money like that on some chick that he just trying to get to know right and then he said to me concerning me we haven't even kissed or had sex or anything right that's what he told me i said oh I, okay cool i just want to hear his perspective it's nothing's wrong with whatever however he feels that's how he feels um so anyway he said she proceeded to call another man on the phone in his face after she told him they were done mind you they're still in the store at the mall and uh asked the man did he want to see her and he said you know i do and then she told him that there were some shoes she wanted and to facetime her so she, he did and um she told him she won them and he cashed at her the thirteen hundred dollars right then and there and she walked over to the counter, bought her shoes, and left, y'all. And so he sat there. I said, oh, she, she did all that in your foot. Like, you stayed to watch the whole thing? Hold on, guys. And he said, yes. He said, yeah, guys. He said he stayed to watch the whole thing. So he was saying, you know, that he doesn't spend his money like that right okay so i we left the store you know he's telling me all this while we're walking around the mall and getting ready to go eat and i'm just listening so um anyway while we go eat right he's super flick flirtatious super super flirtatious um, super super want to touch me you know all of the extra and I tell him I say you know um stop you know what I mean like stop you know it's cool but you know what are we doing folks stay focused you know um because this is day one and I don't even know why why do you feel the need to try to touch me? You know what I mean? Like, what do you need to touch Why do you need to touch me? So anyway, it's not like I'm asking him that. That's just my energy. Like, you know, get it together. So, y'all, when we left, he was telling me how much he enjoyed my company that he wouldn't mind to drive me all the way back to Atlanta that I could literally cancel my flight and he would drive me so we could spend more time together and get to know each other um, because he has nothing holding him in. He has nothing holding him in Florida and we could be together now. <laughs> Y'all, this is the first date. This is the first date. This man says that he has nothing holding him to Florida. He can actually move his whole life to Atlanta now. We can actually go to the courthouse to, on Monday. My friend can be our witness and we can get married and do it right now. Y'all, I was like, what are you talking about? You ready to commit a whole future to me, but you ain't ready to buy shoes. You just gave me a whole speech on how your stomach was cramping at the conversation of 
what should my expectation be of you as far as in my life what is comfortable for you so when he started saying all that marriage stuff i was like so what is what does marriage look like for you like what would be a perfect situation for you you know are you a type of person that wants 50 50 you know i'm basically just shooting the breeze um as we're driving back to the resort you know because it's very it's baffling to me when guys do that and i'm thinking in my mind like well does he think i'm slow like do he think you know he needs to say all that stuff so i will you know let him into my body or is he serious is he on the run like what is the problem why would you think i'm gonna get married to you in five seconds now mind you the whole reason why we even went out that day was because he wanted to make sure he spent my birthday with me and he was going on and on and on about oh let's do this let's do that now he's one of these types that just says whatever but he has absolutely no intentions of doing any of it he just wants what he wants so he was talking about let's go jet skiing that didn't happen um let's go get massages that didn't happen you know he was all of these things like oh yeah i want to do that but i'm not sure about my schedule one minute he knows his schedule then the next minute he doesn't know um i just deduced it all down to he's he's cheap his money's funny he's frugal um you know he just wants to do what he wants to do so i just let him do whatever he wanted to do it doesn't bother me one way or another so as i you know spent the day with him i was like okay cool so um, he took me to this place that was pretty much like a sports bar and grill. Um, and, you know, that was fine. Um, then after that, you know, we drove home. He gave me a lot of speeches on his viewpoint concerning women, um, concerning his finances. Um, you know, he was just real on the whole thing of you know he wants to spend his money you know on his wife and as far as he's concerned i'm his wife because he's dating me with that purpose he has a good vibe about me um he feels good about me and where this is going and as far as he's concerned he can just go ahead on and take me back to atlanta i don't need to fly back and we can get married on monday y'all we can get married on monday so um obviously that doesn't work for me okay so now you know he's gone on to his cigar event he's gone on to the game i've gone on to my event at the retreat and i honestly didn't ever expect to see him anymore i felt like that was enough um, we're not on the same page. Um, there's just too many, too many question marks. And I don't even want them answered. You know, sometimes you could go out with a person and just be like, no, I'm good. And that's that. Y'all, I kid you not, he popped up at that resort the next morning at like 8 something in the morning. And I had already told him that we were having prayer on the beach. And there was other things that I had to do that morning. So, if I was going to see him, I didn't plan to see him until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But I honestly didn't want to see him anymore because even, even when we were driving home, he was talking about how do I feel and don't I want to see him later on that evening after the game. And I'm like, no, I don't. I'm like, why would I want to see you at 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning? You, you just gave me a speech about how you ain't doing nothing for me. You tell me you was going to do all this stuff with me for my birthday and conveniently found ways to get out of every last one of them. You're just, you're just a BSer. You just say whatever. You have no intentions. You're very selfish, which I can understand why. Because you have no kids. You've never been married. You're the only child. You're a baby. So all you do is think about yourself then you have all these people in your life that have catered to you you don't even buy your own shoes so no i don't like talking to guys like that 
um i don't like guys that go out their way to try to hurry up and rush me into whatever their small brain comes up with and then think that i want to be like oh yeah come back over so you can get on my nerves some more no at one o'clock in the morning so anyway he had already gotten on my nerves with that so i had already made peace like okay that's cool we're done because he's not even like a cool friend for me like even a cool beach friend where you just be like come out to the beach let's go do let's go lay out let's chill let's like you can't even ask that of him because it's like he has an agenda right he just trying to feel on you see if you will have sex with him you know he's a minimalist he don't mind to pay for a quick lunch or something hoping you know that's going to give him enough time to touch you sometimes because he kept telling me his that's another thing he kept doing he kept telling me his um love language was physical touch i don't care who cares what your love language is i asked him after he had been telling me all day all about him and what he wants y'all i asked him at the end of that i said so do you know what i want what's my love language y'all crickets this man has no idea has absolutely no idea i've been told him that my attraction is dependent on how well you take care of me and are into me and how secure i feel about you and you know if i understand that we want the same things we're on the same page you see what i'm saying but you can't even follow through with your own word and suggestions and guys before we went on this date i had told him i said you know what maybe we should just try to see each other another day because um you know i don't like and he's like no 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 no. i think women pretty much you know he comes off he has a great introduction which makes you like oh wow but then the more you talk to him the more you realize like I don't think so and he I'm sure women just ghost him all the time so that's why he comes on so strong as far as popping up you know because women are like done because he kept saying that too like when he would say different things and I wasn't saying anything about his past experience especially when he started saying his stomach was cramping I'm like you a grown man talking about doing for a woman that you say you want to marry on monday is making your stomach <laughs> by the way you pick the shoes not me like neiman's by the way if you guys have never shopped at neiman's neiman's has shoes under a 100 bucks all the way through the thousands so don't think just because you went in neiman's oh you know i blah 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 no there was there's a plethora of selection from everybody's um price range so for me if a man walks right up to red bottoms to him that's a light work that's a normal day that's what he likes to see his woman in that's what he's about you the one pick i mean you had chanel you had dior you had sam edelman up in there you had kenneth cole i'm the most everybody there's all kind of different brands in neiman's but you went right over there and picked up manolo blonics and chris louboutins and i told him that too i said you know um when you did that i felt like you were saying to me this is what i like to see my lady in this is what I, this is my comfort zone this is what i do and of course he flipped that around like no i mean you're the one how does in Neiman's? I'm like, no, you are. I'm visually impaired. You told me you parked by Dillard's. <laughs> I have no idea. I actually, when we walk in the door, what store are we going into? And that was Neiman's. I don't have a problem with Neiman's at all. But if you take me in there and then you tell me how you like your woman to be in heels and that does something for you and to you, and then I tell you, oh, okay, well, show me what you're like. And you tell me you're going to show me and this and that okay guys so anyway so now he's popped up okay the plot thickens so 
he starts telling me how he's going to drive all around the area and do some Uber rides. I was like, oh, very interesting. So, um, I'm like, well, do you want to go jet skiing since you're out here? Like, I'll, you know, do you want to go on and go to the beach? Like, you know, he's like, well, I don't want to get caught up in traffic. You know, he's got his excuses lined up. Mind you, he kind of sounds like, you know, he's slizzard from the night before. If y'all don't know boys in the hoods. <laughs> but he kind of sounds like, you know, he's kind of hung over. And, you know, he's just getting his coffee and getting his stuff together. But he keeps swearing up and down he only had one drink. Now, what I do with people that I don't know and that the things they're saying but their behavior is not lining up, I'll ask again later in a more direct manner. So, later when we were just talking, I asked him like, so what was you drinking last night? So that's when he started telling me all the drinks. So of course, it was more than one. But while he was talking, he kind of tried to start cleaning it up because he realized, dang, I told her I only had one drink. And now I'm up here telling her about multiple drinks. But then he started trying to deduce it down to a beer. But he, so I was like, mm. I'm like, you speak with a forked tongue. I mean, it just is what it is. You say whatever to get an opportunity to do whatever it is you want to do. Um, this is why you're single. This is why you have no children. You've never been married because you're too selfish. Um, you're just not, you're not ready. You're not at the point where you're ready to be the man you say you are. You're not at the point where you're ready to, you know, really do what you need to do to have a woman in your life and show her you're serious and all this you want somebody to hurry up i think honestly he's looking for someone to take care of him like let me hurry up and jump up in the house with you it's weird i don't know y'all i don't like thinking a lot about what the all the possibilities are um but i will say this it's great for a man to state his intention to give his word because he's accountable to his word so then you know how to gauge him if he says he's dating you with the purpose of marriage want to get to know you and that's what he's doing then that's what you look at okay cool he wants to be married if it works out between him and i then that's what the ultimate goal will be we're gonna get married right so then you have those serious conversations well, what's your credit like do you have um, checking and savings? You know, who do you live with? I mean, those are preliminary questions for me anyway. Before I even go on a date, I need to know who you live with. If you're a smoker, a drug user, um, what's your diet like? Like, I have a few questions that I ask before I even go agree to go on a date with you. But then once you start talking about you want to marry me in five seconds, well, that's when it's like, well, let's pull your credit um, do you have an active checking and savings account? What's your IRS situation looking like? Um, you know, what's your, can you buy a home? Are you in the position to purchase a home? Are you in the position to, you know, X, Y, Z, just a bunch of stuff. Because why are you fast talking me? Um, what's going on with you? And I don't know, I think guys, they think because I have visual impairment, they see this cane. Um, it's weird. It's like, she's not going to want anything. She's not going to expect anything. She's just going to be thankful that she has somebody. Um, but I already have somebody is the thing that males don't understand. I already have somebody. It's God Almighty and the angels he assigned to my life. I, I'm already with a whole crew. It's my, all my family. They're my guardian angels. Those that's already in the spiritual realm. You know, I'm already with a whole crew. So I don't, I don't get into that whole, 
oh, I want to marry you in 24 hours. You don't want to marry me. You want to have sex with me. That's all. Point blank, period. And you're too cheap and too lonely to even do what you need to do to even have that as an opportunity. A man want to marry a woman in 24 hours? He is going in. He is all over that beach with you. Y'all making memories. Y'all laughing. His stomach is not cramping at the idea of doing for you. Okay? He's not getting upset with you because you're asking him questions. And it was so deep because when he and I were together, I was looking at YouTube and a video came up from Creflo Dollar about questions you should be asking while dating. And I was like, oh, this is a good video for us. He was like, okay, cool. So when Creflo started asking questions like about credit, he was like, well, I disagree with that because credit is not a, you know, say all on a person's situation. I mean, you could, you know, to me, when I hear a person got a 700, 800 credit score, to me, that means they're addicted to debt. So as soon as he said that, I knew he didn't have any credit cards, y'all. So I just said, I said, so do you have any credit cards? You don't have any credit cards, right? He was like, no, I don't, you know. I live by cash and an OG of mine taught me to always keep cash on me. Don't be using my debit card at this place and that place. Um, for me, I just knew he was saying that as a way to not be have to spend, you know, like a way for a roadblock. Like, let me tell her this. So I can keep using the excuse like I don't have that much cash on me or I have to go to the ATM. Oh, and y'all ain't ready for this kicker. So the birthday present that I never got, he starts saying, well, you got Zelle. Just look your check your account in a couple of days. Just keep checking your account in a couple of days. <laughs> It'll be there. What'll be there? Would you stop with all this? Why are you even saying I don't even understand why he even said any of this stuff. It wasn't asked. It wasn't asked, y'all. But this is the stuff that these males do trying to have sex with you or trying to fill you out and see if you're going to take care of them, see how much money you have, like, just so much, see how desperate you are, see what they can get away with with you. I mean, it was pitiful, y'all. It was just so pitiful. It was just, it was pitiful. And, um, at the end of the day, I just want to say to everyone, there's no need to do this type of thing, you know? Let a first date be a first date, a reflection of who you really are. Um... Show up, look nice, be clean, smell good, smile, you know? Um, if you have a great vibe about the girl, spring flowers, you know? Do it. Put your best foot out there. Leave all the bad stuff, you know, in the past. And have a first date. Not an accelerated, I'm trying to touch you and go to the bedroom with you in five seconds. No have a first date don't promise a bunch of crap because you're desperate to me he came off like lonely and horny like oh i found a clean girl let me see if i can try to get me some i'm tired of masturbating um let me just tell her whatever it takes so i can see her at least if i could get to her maybe i can touch her maybe she'll be with it you know, I'm just going to take her a couple places and act like I'm about that life. And maybe that'll open her up to whatever I want to do. It was ridiculous, y'all. It was ridiculous. And so, don't do that, you know. Women don't be desperate. Don't be super clingy and touchy-feely. Men don't be desperate. Don't be running off at the mouth, making up crap. You know, engage the woman. Before you go on a date, this is my thing. If you have financial restrictions, if you're cheap, frugal, 
um you got rules with your spending you don't believe in buying women flowers like a bunch of stuff like that get that conversation out the way before you even go on a date with her ask her stuff what are you used to you know what's a typical first date for you you know find out how she was raised because you need to know that if you know good and dang well you a $20 brother you a $40 brother and that hurts you doing $20 or $40 you better let somebody know if you an Applebee's brother you need to talk about that and that way you can just avoid wasting people's time and stop being selfish stop trying to go out with a certain caliber woman that you can't afford nor do you want to afford but you want the benefits of her you want the benefits of touching her of being around her of smelling her of dreaming of fantasizing of um enjoying her lifestyle and her benefit no that's a child guys that operate like that are children you're gonna have to boss up if you want to be with a woman you have to boss up and know okay this is the kind of woman i want and don't be afraid to find out if i'm not that girl great get off the phone you just saved your 20 dollars, your 40 dollars. go to the next one this girl's out there that's down with applebee's and all that type of stuff they're down with riding around town and not really they're down with you there's some shoe they shouldn't but it's somebody out there that's with all of that but of course the girls that's with all of that you don't want to date them you don't you don't want to date those girls you want to be with the girl that looks good smells good tastes good everybody want to be with her when you pull up to the game everybody's looking at you you know it's ridiculous guys then he had told me his dad is a retired fire marshal and he gets the season tickets he, um, for the bucks and instead of him actually going to the game he goes to tailgating parties and sells the tickets and doesn't even tell his dad because he don't he wants his dad to buy the tickets for him but then he sells the tickets i was like wow you're weird 39 years old why are you doing that that don't make any sense guys but yep another frog guys another frog mm -hmm. i can't even make these stories up if i wanted to they're just things that go on that i don't even plan on and it's almost like i'm watching a movie because while all of this stuff is going on i'm just standing there in peace like this is so bizarre how this guy really thinks i don't know what he's thinking right now i'll be like does he think he's training me does he think it's working I'd be like, is he thinking? Is he thinking at all? I don't know. Y'all, it's just crazy. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys. So, so ultimately. This guy told me that his life experiences have given him a cold heart. I was like, wow, I don't date guys with cold hearts. That's extremely dangerous. And basically his ideas were that if he couldn't drive me back to Atlanta and stay at home, stay in my house with me for the weekend, then there was no need for us to go any further because he doesn't feel we're on the same page because he's told me that his love language is physical touch guys so i just let him know it's not a problem i appreciate him and thank you for his honesty and that was the end of that can y'all believe it i kid you not 
I'm not even joking. Let me see. This guy said, if he was not able to stay in my home with me, drive me back to Atlanta, stay in my home. Y'all, I was just looking like, this is so interesting how a complete stranger wants to skip over the total process of getting to know each other and jump right into marriage and the bed. I don't... And it's common, y'all. This is the common conversation of guys that don't mean you no good. They just want to sleep with you. They have no respect for women. And... All they're doing is saying whatever it takes, whatever they think works for you to possibly sleep with them, have their way. And if you have the benefits, then they'll try to live with you or live off of you. Y'all, it's crazy. Dang, my hair is so tangled over here, guys. It hurts. Let me see. I'm so sick and tired of my hair being tangled. That's the other thing about doing your hair. It's just so much to it. It's not like I can just hurry up and slide some products through here and you're done. It always takes hours of this. Hours and hours of this. It's annoying. Okay guys, so. Okay, another thing that was crazy, guys. I ended up finding out the sister that he said was his sister was actually not his sister at all. She was a friend. And supposedly, she's lesbian. And he met her at a game years ago. So supposedly... She was an Atlanta Dream player, and they got cool, and anyway, supposedly, um, that's how, you know, she became his sister, she came to Florida because she was dating some woman, she was dating some woman, and they were supposed to be getting married and having a house built together and the woman ended up telling her after the house started getting built that she actually was getting buying a house in Florida so they end up breaking up it was a mess y'all when I tell you every everything he started off with within by the end of that date it was a whole nother spin on everything he said I was like wow you're creepy you are creepy creepy with a whole nother spin on it that's why I feel like he's an alcoholic because he has that windy conversation that alcoholics have where they always got a different spin. They don't really keep up with what they've said. And it was just weird. I'm like, no thanks. I don't got time for this. Let me see guys. So I think I'm gonna just leave this alone. I'm sick of it. And I'm just gonna um wrap my hair up because I have an appointment here in a few minutes. And I want to like rest and eat something because I'm getting an attitude. I'm getting an attitude. Okay, here we go. So, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's gross. Guys. Let me see. 
So I'm trying to do like a braid out, twist out thing, but I don't know. Let me see. Okay, guys. So, Charles is like over it. He's sleepy too. He's he's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's like, I'm ready to go. Mom. Okay, guys. I feel like once my hair has had a chance to kind of dry a little bit, it's going to be easier to comb out in a little while. And then I'll be able to do some more styling. This is the leave-in conditioner. The Jamaican black castor oil, apple cider vinegar strengthening leave-in conditioner okay guys so I gotta exercise y'all so the thing about it is about dating I feel like you're ready to date when you're not in a rush. I feel like when you have a peace, when you have peace about where you are in your life and you're just not willing to put up with fuller, like things that don't work for you, I feel like that's the perfect time to date because you can really hear a person instead of making up whatever you want or trying to, uh, you know, doll it up into something palatable like oh well he's it's gonna be okay like he's not gonna stay like this once I show him that I'm loyal he's gonna change or, it's like no that man said what he means and he means what he says and that's where domestic violence comes from when you try to think over time he's gonna stop being the way he is and even if you do get him to do the things you want him to do, he's going to have resentment and animosity. And he's going to be giving you speeches like, I'm not doing this no more. Or don't ask me for this anymore anytime soon. Or, or he may keep it to himself because maybe he wants, you know, whatever you're doing to continue. Or, you know, so he'll tolerate it for a while. But if you keep pulling something out of him that he doesn't want to truly give eventually he's gonna cuss you out eventually he's going to leave you alone it doesn't matter if you're his wife or not eventually he's going to go bananas on you because it's like i told you from the beginning i'm not with all of this i don't want to do this it makes my stomach cramp you know all this stupid mess he said at the beginning right so the, i feel like you're at a great place to date when you can listen to a person say all that and it doesn't bother you and you can move on in peace like okay well i totally understand that i respect i respect you um uh, because at the end of the day you would be my leadership and i have to be able to respect you and what you want and what makes sense for you you see what i'm saying at the same time, I have to respect what I want and what makes sense for me. So there's no need to cross this bridge where I'm only getting maybe 30% of my needs met. You see what I'm saying? So you definitely have to locate yourself when you start wanting a date and make sure you're not, why, what are your reasons for wanting to be with someone? Like, what are they? you know are you in trouble you know you like what is it you know you really need to know why do you want to date and then are you in the position to date now something else that was interesting 
I talked to this other guy and I noticed that several guys I had been meeting, um, which I meet a lot of guys all the time. Anytime I leave the house, I'm meeting, you know, guys, grocery store, at the restaurant, anywhere. I'm meeting gentlemen and we're having conversations and it's cool. And, um, and it might just be just that, you know, like high vibe conversations. So anyway, guys, a lot of these guys were coming out and asking me, like, what do I do for a living? And it's always alarming for guys to ask me that, like, in the first two, three sentences. Like, oh, what do you do for a living? I'm like, why are you asking me that? I haven't even asked you that, right? Nor do I know if I even care to know what you do for a living, right? So, typically... When a guy asks me that, I immediately put him in the client zone and I just start telling him what I do because now I'm looking at you as a possible client and not for anything else. Um, because, you know, you've basically let me know you're looking for something that I'm not. So, anyway, this guy, when I asked him, I said, um, well... I said, I always find it interesting when guys ask me, what do I do for a living? Um, could you preface that? Like, could you let me know why you're asking? You know, what, what is it? Is it like a um, determinant factor for you? Like, you that's really important to you? Like, what's the spin on it? You know, why are you asking me that? He was like, it's not the 1960s no more. You know, dudes don't want, we don't date broke women no more. I was like, oh. I was like, but, yeah i was like women are not broke he was like yes they are i was like no women are not broke i was like women are not providers they're not protectors and they're not leaders they're provided for they're protected and they're led that's what women are women are never broke and if a woman is lacking that's in direct correlation and reflection of her leadership mm. He was pissed, y'all. I was like, women are not broke. They're never, they could never be broke. Never. Women are not broke. We are the mothers of civilization. We're well provided for. We're protected and we are led. That's what we are. And if we are lacking, it's in direct reflection of our leadership. Mm. Nah, he was mad the conversation was like he was still trying to make a point like i was like have you ever been married before of course he hasn't he had some type of animosity he had a couple children and he had some type of animosity towards the moms which i'm sure is directly linked to child support um and the fact that he doesn't want to marry the moms and that's another thing guys want to have full control and reign over women that they make children with but they don't do what needs to be done in order to do so you can't make a child with a woman and not marry her or not put her in a position where she's provided for and then think you're going to run her life in her household and be upset because she's like okay i couldn't trust you with my life or future you know, you done made me a baby mama and now you on to the next one and doing it again. Um, no. I mean, you guys, there are just so many things that have to be evaluated. It's like, stop making babies with women and you're not ready to commit. If you can't honestly look at this woman and know that you want to marry her, stop having sex. And for God's sake, stop having unprotected sex with women that you can't see your future with. Like, stop doing it. And if you don't make enough money to care for her and a child, stop having sex. Like, it's just a simple solution. Like, and then you get upset because this woman's like, wow, this guy can offer me and my child nothing next. Or... You know, after she's tired of playing around with you, it's like, okay, let me just get the child support and move next. You know, it's just, it's, 
all of it is just a nightmare all of it the child support crap nightmare the being a single parent nightmare the you know allowing yourself to fall for you know the charades that people play you know women pretending to be whatever men pretending to be whatever it's all a nightmare and it's unfortunate and the children are the one that suffers because you know now you got these two parents that can't stand each other's guts we're never compatible we're not a match you know trying to co-parent quote unquote co-parent you know a child that should have never been here i don't know guys and then they had this law now in texas talking about how um after so many weeks women can't have abortions and if you are a part of helping this woman have an abortion you can be sued and put into jail even uber drivers taking women to abortion clinics can be sued and take I was like, wow, this is deep, guys. I'm like, this something got deep. So now I guess they're wanting to give the fathers more rights when it comes to whether or not you're going to have these babies or not. Which I'm really lost as to where is this coming from. Like, where is this coming from? You don't want the woman, but you want her to have your child? I don't get it. I don't. I do not. I'm totally lost on this topic, guys. They don't want to be with this woman, but they want her to keep their baby. Why? I was like, oh my God. I don't know how this is about to work out. It's like a lot of these Republican states are choosing to... Um, make a lot of laws. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Y'all chime in on that, on the comments on that. You know, as believers, we understand that abortion is not, is not an option, right? First of all, we weren't supposed to be fornicating or sleeping with people that are not our spouses in the first place, Right? So then you find yourself out here doing all that and boom, now it's a pregnancy. Okay, as a believer, even if you made a mistake, you're supposed to go on and have this child, thou shall not kill, right? You're supposed to go on have this baby and trust God with the rest, right? So then there's, you know, people that might have been raped or whatever. You know, you got people that have been raped by their own family members and get pregnant. And you, now you got a child that's not only your son or daughter, but is also your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, like your niece, your nephew. So what do you do with that crap? Like, I don't know, y'all. That's, that's hardcore. But the fact that Uber and Lyft drivers got to be looking at where are they taking you because they could possibly go to jail for taking you these places. Mm. I mean, that's a difficult... That's a difficult... That is... Okay, you're not married, you're pregnant, okay? And you end up finding out the guy you're pregnant for is no way y'all will ever be anything. Do you even tell him? I mean, there's some women that don't even tell the guy. They're like, uh-uh, no way. I'm not telling him anything. I'm just going to have my baby. I don't even want the drama. I don't want nobody. I don't want no child support. I'm good. You know? I don't I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't care. What do y'all think about that? Is that right? You you slept with a girl, she's pregnant, and she doesn't tell you. 
Is that right? I feel like men need to be more choosy. I feel like they need to be, I mean, it all sounds like a nightmare to me. You suck with a girl, she's pregnant, boom. She's like, is she supposed to tell you? Is she? Is she supposed to, like, is that the right thing to do? Do you tell them? That y'all are not dating. Like, y'all had a, you know, you just hit her off. Bow, you don't care. You're done. Y'all are not in a relationship. You know, you're finished. Do she need to tell you? Or should she just move on? Like, oh, oh well, I'm pregnant. It is what it is. I don't want anybody hurting me any further. Like this dude already told me he don't want me. I got this baby. I want my baby. I want to have peace during my pregnancy. I don't want anybody tearing me down. I don't want anybody making me feel like crap. I don't want drama. I don't want the whole, how do I know this is my baby crap. Um, I'm not about to do nothing for you until I get a paternity test. Oh, why are you trying to trap me? Like, you don't want all that drama. So you just say to yourself, like, no, nah, this is my baby. And that's that. I'm going to have peace. I'm going to take care of myself. And this man don't want me. This man don't want me. I'm cool with that. But I'm going to enjoy my pregnancy. I'm not going to have drama. I'm not going to have somebody devalue me even further than what they already have. So, what do y'all think? You think that's within a woman's right? What about women that get pregnant for guys that's married and they don't even know? And then they find out, you know, they don't want to them like, boom, I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm married. You need to get rid of it. Oh, I'm not having no abortion, though. Like, wow. So now you found yourself in a situation where not only are you unwed and and pregnant but this guy is already married so what do you do then it's like you who wants to have a baby for a married man right who wants to do that like wow you ever have a baby for a married man is that right like I mean and you know what as a believer it's like you have to surrender all and put it in God's hands right like that's where faith takes over like you know what Lord I don't know how you're gonna work this out I don't know how it's gonna come together but I do know you knew I was gonna be right here and you've already provided the way out of this circumstance I know that I didn't make the best decisions I know that I went outside of your plan for my life and I ask for forgiveness and I forgive myself. But going forward, I need you to cover me in this thing. I need you to cover me and my child in this thing. Because this child is innocent. It's, this child is a gift. This child is my blessing. This child is a, is a part of me, a part of you. Right? Like... It's like in those moments right there, it, it's like it activates every bit of your faith or you develop faith that you never had because right now you're in such a delicate situation. Like, I feel like when it comes to, and I've seen so many different variables on God's power in the situation, I've seen where babies were not predicted to make it at all and they made it and walking around healthy and thriving to this day i've seen where children were born with their organs outside of their total bodies and they weren't supposed to be making it and then they had surgery and they put all their organs back inside their bodies and they still weren't supposed to be making it and now they're walking around 17 years old driving and coming and going as they please I mean, I have seen 
crack babies 100% addicted at birth scaly skin I mean all kinds of things you see them at 25 never would know I mean never would know so it's like it's like on one stretch of your imagination I just always think about what is cruel though I, I never want to put another human being through this cruel reality like why would we want to go forward with a pregnancy behind rape and molestation you know this baby's father is not only their father but their grandfather as well not only their father but their uncle as well i mean it's like ooh, hallelujah this is i don't know what to do with this right here you know it really becomes i mean you definitely i in order to believe in god it's like you have to put yourself on autopilot but more than anything it's like don't do this stuff right but then it's like well the person who was raped or molested what did they do they didn't do that to themselves right hmm the person that was in this relationship with this person and come to find out they're married they didn't do that to themselves but they could have like well, okay what could have happened you know to avoid that's why I say it's like, it's like you just got to constantly stay in prayer and just be thankful to the Lord that these situations are not your reality. These are not your testimonies. You have to, it's so many things to be thankful about. It, the fact that you can eat on your own, smell on your own, see on your own, feel on your own, use the restroom on your own when you get ready, come and go, run, walk, sit down exercise move your arms clap you have coordination move your head from the left to the right you have roof over your head you're clean you can take a bath i mean there are so many things you know nobody beating you in the head no domestic violence going on nobody you know forcing you to sleep with them when you don't want to um, cheating on you you know like it's the list of the, there are so many things to be thankful about that people will say well I shouldn't have to be thankful that I'm not raped I'm not molested or I'm not like I shouldn't have to be thankful and, and I shouldn't have to serve a God where that could be a reality right some people will say that like I shouldn't have to serve a God that I need to be thankful that I can eat and use my hands and my own this and my own that. It's like, huh, yes, you should. Because none of us, none of us are perfect, meaning that none of us are going to get through this life without making mistakes. And it's such a blessing and a covering to be able to make a mistake and walk through that situation. Still in your right mind, still possessing your, um, your senses still possessing a certain amount of liberties and freedom and also growing from those mistakes that's an absolute miracle to be able to grow and mature and thrive and move on with your life with your full capacities and senses is such a blessing because we're not going to get through this life without making mistakes repeatedly we're going to make mistakes and we're going to need God's covering and favor every step of the way we're going to constantly need to renew restore redeem we're going to constantly go through this process of recognizing our wrongs our disconnect and reconnecting and then get it back on track and every time you get to do that without without the disease Without the chill, the, the the baby, you know, mama drama, the baby daddy drama, the without crashing and burning, without being, and never coming back is what I'm saying. Because all of us, I mean, I've had to start my career over five, six, seven thousand times. I've, I've, you know, I have gone through all kinds of things and continue to go through all kinds of things. But to be able to get back up 
and start over and and reclaim the victory in your right mind and have a certain level of spiritual energy and backing and confidence and, and renewing is an absolute blessing so anyway guys um this is what's going on here in the ATL um, yeah I've combed my hair to a degree let me show you guys what it looks like in the back so here's the braids kind of straggling along I'm just letting them kind of dry out not kind of just kind of not kind of but like dry to a softness not dry to like that brittleness and then I'll just undo the braids and I'm probably going to still go with a high ponytail again um just because I don't like my hair when it's wet the glam twins call it putting it up in a pineapple look um I don't like it touching my face or my neck any of that so I'll just swoop it up in the ponytail in a few more hours and um just go from there i'm gonna have my daughter look at it here shortly and you can make a comment below too if you see any grays because once my grays start coming out then i do a black rinse so i'm thinking it's probably about time for me to do a rinse um so that's the next game plan guys and I want you guys to have an amazing week ahead. Happy Monday. Blessings to you. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Like, share, comment, subscribe, repeat. I'm um, working on a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm growing and learning. You guys, it's already the ninth month of the year. I cannot believe it. Before we know, we're going to blink our eyes. It'll be fall and October. So... Um, if you're not already on your grind, get on your grind and just keep going. Okay, guys. Speech on. Stop recording video button. See you Swipe up or down to select. Stop recording video button. See you very soon. Swipe up or down to select. Stop recording.